Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to access the accelerometer using the Expo Sensors package. So you're going to want to install that Expo Sensors package first and we're going to use state here to store the values of the um, accelerometer and we're going to use effect to subscribe and unsubscribe from the accelerometer. So the accelerometer is going to give you some XYZ data and I'm going to provide this function set data that's going to be used to set those um, variables. I'm going to initialize it to a default of x is 0, y is 0, and z is 0. And then I'm going to go ahead and show those inside the app. So I've got X and I'll have Y and Z as well. And those just refer to those state variables, so they'll update when the state changes. And I've updated those labels now as well to align with what variable I'm talking about. Now that I've got that side of things done, I can go ahead and add the accelerometer code. So you're going to want to import accelerometer from the Expo Sensors package. And here I'm using use effect. This basically will get called once when the app um, first loads up and it's going to go ahead and subscribe to any changes in the accelerometer data by setting a listener. So I'm going to go accelerometer.addListener and I'm going to pass that set data um, function and what that's going to do is basically when the accelerometer data changes it's going to go ahead and set x y and z. That returns a subscription which I'm going to keep a track of because I'm going to inside that use effect I'm going to return what will be called when the um, component unmounts. Um, so that's the return statement is what happens when the component unmounts and I'm going to remove my subscription when the component unmounts. So I'm not listening needlessly. I've opened this on an actual device to show you because you need to sort of use on an actual device because the simulator doesn't have that accelerometer inbuilt. You can see that's all changing X, Y, and Z. We're changing quite rapidly. You can actually control the speed that it um, updates at. So to do that, I'm going to show you how to do it with slow and fast. So I'll start off with slow, and on press I'm going to basically go ahead and set the speed that I want to get the data at. So I'll go accelerometer.setUpdateInterval, I'm going to use 2 seconds. You can see that if your sampling rate's too small, then you're going to need to add an Android permission, and I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video, but we'll start with a slow one first. So if I go ahead and open my app again and click slow, you'll see that it slows right down and every two seconds now I'm getting an update on the accelerometer data. So you might want to not have quite precise accelerometer data and that might be why you might choose a slower interview interval, but if you need quite accurate and up-to-date data, you're going to want to do it faster and I'm going to set the update interval to 50 here which is actually requiring that permission that I mentioned for Android. So now I'm just going to open this on iOS again, and you, I'm going to show you slow so that you can compare. And this is fast. It's updating very quickly because I've got such a rapid sample interval. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my permissions, and you only need to add it for Android. So inside this app.json, you're going to add a permissions section, which is an array of permissions. And I'm just going to copy and paste that um, the permission that I require. So that's the permission I require, and that should work on Android as well with a fast sample rate. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.